In this video, I'm going to show you the calculation of the maximum gain, maximum loss, and the break-even price for the put bull spread strategy. So this strategy uh, is suitable uh, for investors or traders uh, who have a slightly bullish view on the market or for the underlying asset, Okay, but they would like to construct it using put options. So in this strategy, uh, you will have to buy or long one put option at the lower exercise price and you would have to short one put option at a higher exercise price. So in my example, uh, the put option that we will buy has a strike of uh, 56. Okay, so this is the lower strike and uh, the short put would have a higher exercise price at 65 and uh, these are the respective premiums of the option. Okay, 120 for the lower strike put and $6 for the higher strike put. So what we'll do now is uh, we'll calculate okay, the initial value of the strategy where you will buy a put with a lower strike and then you minus, uh, minus here means you short the put option with the higher strike. So this would be 120, the initial premium minus $6. So that would be negative 480. Okay, so in this case it's net short. Okay, because the amount that you receive from selling the put is more than what you pay for it. Now, we will then calculate the value at expiration for the underlying asset. Uh, so again, we will also have the payoff of the lower strike put minus the payoff of the higher strike put. And for the lower strike put, uh, the payoff would be the maximum of 0 and then the strike which is 56 minus the share price at expiration. And then uh, we would minus the maximum of zero, then 65 minus the share price. Okay, now uh, with this, of course, the definition of profit would be the difference in the value at expiration and the initial value. Okay, now let's say if you, are, if you want to find the maximum gain, so you can observe from the payoff profile that the maximum gain occurs when the share price is greater than 65, which is a strike of the, uh, the strike of the highest strike put. Okay, so in this case, uh, what you can do is at this point, uh, both options would be out of the money since the share price is above the strike prices. Uh, so what you can do here, of course, is when I compute the max gain, okay, this is when uh, the share price is greater than 65. So in this case, we can write, okay, so the value at expiration here, okay, would be, uh, so you were at zero for the lower strike put and then minus zero for the higher strike put. Okay, because in this case, both options would be out of the money. So that's zero value at expiration. And profit would be equals to the value at expiration minus the initial value, which is negative 480. So the maximum gain would be $4.80. Then for the maximum loss. Now, what is the condition for maximum loss? That's when the share price is lower than the strike price of the lower put. That's 56 Okay, so here you will set share price, okay, less than 56. Okay, in this case, both options would be in the money. Okay, both options would be in the money. So the value at expiration here would be 56 minus the share price at expiration, which is lower than 56. And then you minus uh, 65 minus the share price. Now, of course, uh, if you simplify this, this cancels off. So you have 56 minus 65. So this is negative 9. All right, and for the profit, the profit would be equals to the value at expiration, negative 9 minus the initial value 480. So you will get a negative $4.20. So that's a loss, okay? And this is the maximum loss, which is $4.20. Okay, and uh, lastly uh, would be the break-even price. So at this particular point, uh, we'll see that uh, profit, of course, is equals to zero. That's break even. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing, among the two options, uh, you would find that the put option with the higher strike of 65 would be in the money. Okay, while the put option with the lower strike would be out of the money. So based on this, uh, we would then find the break even point. So for the break even point, when we write the VT, the value expiration, so the VT here, okay, would be equals to, so in this case, the lower strike put is out of the money, so that's zero, and then you minus uh, the payoff of the higher strike put, 
which is in the money. So that's 65 minus the share price. So if you simplify this, uh, this would be the share price minus 65. And this share price would be our break-even price. Now, of course, uh, profit at break-even point, profit would be equals to zero. Okay, and profit is also the value at expiration minus the initial value. Uh, this is the share price of the at the break even minus sixty five minus the initial value. Okay, so we have uh, sixty. So in this case, the break even price would be uh, the difference between sixty five and uh, four eighty. So that would be sixty dollars and twenty cents. Okay, at this particular point. So that's that's the break even. So of course, just by being able to form the initial value and the value at expiration, and by using the payoff profile to help you identify where the maximum gain, the maximum loss, and the break-even price is, okay, then you don't have to uh, memorize a lot of formulas in this case.